Hi, you're watching Catholic Social Media News. I'm Renee from Reborn Pure, and today we have quite a slew of stories for you, including one in particular, which I know my mom will love because she loves him. A priest by the name of Father Solanus Casey was beatified on November 18th, and he's originally from Detroit, Michigan, and well, 60,000 people showed up to the beatification, which is crazy. <laughs> my mom always talked about him. I had no idea that he was that widespread and well known, but it's crazy. He used to give out soup and kind words and encouragement to the people on the streets of Detroit. Pope John Paul II declared him venerable in 1995, and now he's been beatified because a miracle was attributed to him. There was a woman with a disfiguring skin condition who was miraculously cured or disappeared and no one had any other explanation for it, but this happened hours after she prayed at Casey's grave. The beatification, which took place in Detroit, is one of only three that have taken place in the United States. One of our fans and followers, Anna, actually went to the beatification and vlogged it for us, and you'll be able to see that vlog soon at the end of this month. Okay, this next one was brought to my attention. Um, EWTN had an interview recently, it was about sexual harassment in the modern workplace, and during it the host asks a question to the interviewee, they respond, you know, something, 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 Trump, and then right when they say Trump, a little bit after the interviewer goes like, oh, uh, I'm hearing rap in my ear, we gotta end the interview, and then it, then it ends. So the people were like, what? Why did it just stop? And um, it got a weird reaction from people, as I saw in Facebook comments, saying like, maybe one person said, EWTN is Latin for Fox. So people are saying that EWTN might be becoming a little bit too much like Fox News for their liking. And I know they have been interviewing a lot of celebrities that may have been in movies recently or they're paying attention to um, a lot of Hollywood news going on. I mean, I totally kind of understand because you kind of want to cover the world news in a Catholic perspective and everything. There's two sides here. People that think that they're becoming a little too mixed in with the regular mainstream news and then people who think they're actually being so strict with their views that they're not allowing in other people's opinions at the same time. So that's the discussion that's going on. I'm not sure about it. I haven't watched a lot of EWTN recently, so I wanted to get your guys' thoughts in the comments about EWTN's content recently. I know EWTN Nightly News has been looking really great and professional lately, but I don't see too much change in the other programs, so there may be a lot of money going to Nightly News. Who knows? I don't know. And if that's the case, what are their plans for their other smaller shows that I really love? If you guys know any information that I'd like to hear, you know, put it in the comments, and if you have an opinion about the latest uh, interview where they cut off the interviewee, let me know too. Now, I love EWTN and they inspired me to start vlogging in the first place and to get into Catholic media. So I'm very devoted to the cause and want to make sure that things are great with them and keep going in the right direction. David, Ned, Joseph and I were recently guests on Random Catholic Thoughts. We did episodes on Saint Nicknames, Useful Catholic Apps, unofficial patron saints, and actors who converted to Catholicism. Check out a link to a playlist in the description below. During Advent this year, NCG will be posting weekly reflections on the Sunday readings and talking about how they relate to Christmas traditions and our own personal preparations for the birth of Christ. In addition, we will also be participating in a fundraising campaign for Mary's Meals throughout Advent. The program aims to help children in poverty in third world countries by providing them meals at school as well as providing emergency aid where needed around the world. Thanks to generous benefactors, every dollar donated during the month of December will be doubled the link for this campaign will be included in the description box of the first Advent video this Sunday. Some of you may have noticed that one of our Patreon sponsors is Adventures in the Great Mystery. Now you may be wondering what that means. It's a brand new fiction series about Catholic college students who are serious about their faith and their friendships. There are personal reflection questions and footnotes at the bottom of the pages. Quotes from the Catechism, quotes from the Pope, so you can really learn and grow in your faith as you're reading. You can check out their website in the description box below and then enter the promotion code NCG to get a special discount. Thank you for watching Catholic Social Media News.